a conspiracy theory. In the Bundesliga? That's something worth checking out. So we got our best man on the case. Me, of course. Hello, welcome to a beautiful morning in Bielefeld, home of the Bundesliga's newest club, Armenia. They've been there before, but it's been a while. When I wake up in the morning, love, and the sunlight hurts my eyes. The view from the castle tower is fantastic, but not all is as it seems in Bielefeld. In Germany, there are rumors that the city is hiding a dark secret so ridiculous, it sounds like something from a Netflix series. I'm hunting for the truth. So what is this conspiracy? Well, this is all going to sound a little crazy. Frankly, it sounds stupid to me. So let me try to explain this as simply as I can. Since the mid 90s, a joke has been causing Bielefeld a little bit of a headache. Basically, someone came up with the satirical conspiracy theory that the city doesn't actually exist, but I'm here in Bielefeld and it feels pretty real to me. There's a good chance you've never heard of Bielefeld before, but that's understandable. Bielefeld is an ordinary German city. Apart from an earthquake in 1612, nothing exciting has ever happened here, except in 1971. Quick history lesson. 1971 was probably the city's darkest hour. Its club, Armenia, was involved in a match-fixing scandal during its first top-flight season. It made headlines, and suddenly, good old boring Bielefeld was in the brightest of spotlights. Der Bekanntheitsgrad ist mit Sicherheit als positiv gestiegen zu werten, denn waren es damals nur 35 Prozent, die überhaupt 35 Prozent, die nicht zu Bielefeld wussten, so sind es jetzt auf einmal nur noch 25 Prozent. Das heißt, man kann daraus folgern, dass 10 Prozent der bundesdeutschen Bevölkerung über 16 Jahren zumindest durch diesen Skandal auf Bielefeld aufmerksam geworden ist. Und das halte ich für einen großen Vorteil vom Bekanntheitsgrad her. So the scandal at least brought Bielefeld out of obscurity, although some still deny the place exists at all. What can you do? There are some crazy people around. I can confirm it's real and that there's absolutely nothing weird going on in Bielefeld. Nothing at all. Wait, how did I get here? Maybe something strange is happening after all. Armenia midfielder Sebio Suku looks as confused as I am. Anyway, what's he got to say about Bielefeld's promotion? I think it's uh, for every player it's the, a dream to be on top, to play the, be uh, the, the best league in, in your country. And so for me it's the same. And for all of us in the team it's uh, it's an honor. I think we, we have had enough time to, to realize it. And now we all are happy to start the preseason again to, to get ready for the Bundesliga. Let's hope they're ready. They haven't always enjoyed their time in the top flight. Now this side used to be known as an elevator club going up and down every other season, but they actually haven't been in the Bundesliga since 2009 and even spent time in the third division but after a barnstormingly dominant display last year where they only lost two games, they're back in the big time. We can enjoy every match. Nobody is like, okay, today we have to win, but we want to win because we, are, we, are all, we all are sportsmen and uh, we are not in the first division to, to enjoy every moment, but uh, go down after one season. Last season, in the end, it was like a pressure every match because you need to win, because everyone is like, okay, you have to win, you have to win and uh, others want to, to see you fall down or to lose some points. And uh, this season it's completely different. They certainly won't be expected to win every game in the Bundesliga. A season of classic underdog football awaits. 
but seeing these players up close, you can really feel their excitement and energy. Ah, fresh grass on a football pitch, the best smell in the world. I love my job, but now it's time to head home. It's all been a bit bizarre, but just one more trip up the tower to take in the sunset, and then it's bye-bye Bielefeld. I wonder if I'll ever find myself back here again. Welcome to a beautiful morning in Bielefeld, home of the Bundesliga's newest club, Armenia. They've been there before, but, oh, no, wait, I've been here before. Okay, something bizarre is definitely going on. Haven't I done this all before? At least there's... Still plenty to say about Armenia. For one thing, I didn't even mention their ground yet. And apparently I'm there now. Another weird thing is that the club's stadium is actually referred to as the Alpine Pasture. But we're not in the Alps. I'm pretty sure we're in the city of Bielefeld. Indeed, the club is important to Bielefeld. It's a source of local pride, according to former keeper Dennis Eilhoff. Arminia Bielefeld is, from my sicht a traditional club, which was founded in 1905. And, absolutely, for the city, the city is also behind this club. The city is behind this club, and the whole region of Ostwestfalen is also excited that here, finally, the Bundesliga is played. going on. I should be back home. As lovely as the sunsets are, this has to be my last evening in Bielefeld. Please! Hello, welcome to a wonderful morning in Bielefeld, home of the Bundesliga's newest club, Armenia. They've been there before. I've been here before, but, you know... It's been a while. Okay, I'm still here, still wandering through this spooky dungeon for some reason. Maybe this is all because of Armenia. The club has an almost supernatural ability of appearing in the Bundesliga and disappearing again. Perhaps I've just been trapped in Armenia's paranormal activity. Now, they currently share the record for most promotions to the Bundesliga, but what they really want to avoid is becoming the lone record holder for most relegations. And it's going to be an uphill task because they have the lowest budget in the division. But the return of fans to stadiums could give them an edge. I think they are crazy, <laughs> crazy. I, and I, I really miss the fans because the last months we are always uh, play play without uh, without fans the emotions are not, it's absolutely not the same if you have a good situation or a good moment on the pitch normally in the stadium you feel it you feel the, the feel the power of the fans and i never realized it before mm -hmm. like this because now you, i never played without fans and now i'm like okay fans are much much more uh, important Leider Gottes natürlich jetzt erstmal Stadien, die nicht so gut gefüllt sind wie bei uns damals. Also das war natürlich auch als Fußballer ein schönes Erlebnis dann, wenn du vor 80.000 gespielt hast oder auch äh, in einem Stadion wie bei Union Berlin, wenn da halt äh, zwar weniger, aber kompakt viele Zuschauer da sind und immer äh, Ramazamba gemacht wird. She's 
he's right. As much as I love getting to know Armenia, I really should leave this place. But how? Hello, welcome to a beautiful morning in, uh, uh, what's, what's the name of this city again? Well, if I'm stuck here, let's talk about that name, Armenia. The club's strange name has nothing to do with the country Armenia, but rather they're named after the general Arminius, a Germanic warrior who defeated the Romans back in the year nine. And because all German clubs are female, Arminius became Armenia. <laughs> With a name that claims such a proud heritage, did the jokes about Bielefeld not existing annoy people associated with the club? Erstmal sollte man wissen, dass es Bielefeld doch gibt. Das habt ihr jetzt in die Tage auch gesehen. Es gibt viele schöne Ecken auch. Also ich denke, gerade das Wahrzeichen oben, die Sparrenburg. Die Stadt hat schon einiges zu bieten. Wenn man hier in der Region wohnt, kann man sich hier auch in Bielefeld wohlfühlen. I don't really understand why uh, everyone is uh, making this joke, uh, so <laughs> I think it's stupid. I'll tell you what's stupid, losing my job and girlfriend because I can't escape this damn place. Regardless of my struggles, Armenia Bielefeld is a club worth keeping an eye on. Good luck back in the Bundesliga, guys. Now, can I please go home? Hello.